And we're back with another game thing, and this time it's going to be Star Wars: The Force Unleashed 2, the sequel, which is better than the first. And as you can see, we're in quite a bit of an actiony spot, so it's blood and stuff. Well, not necessarily. <laughs> it's not blood because this is a T-rated game, so they couldn't have that in there. But it's close enough, you know. You get to dismember limbs and whatnot, so there's action. No worries. Uh, and giant killer robot, which I'm not great at this game, so I'm not quite sure how to beat it. Uh, Anna, you need to. Oh, 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 RT. There we go. And we got the shield. And yeah, and this is how you destroy the robot. Once you get rid of that shield, and I'm not doing so well at this. And if you guys weren't aware already, we have another voice here, and this is going to be the co-commentator, Hannah. Hi. And yeah, she's here for the ride too. So. Definitely. And if you see that table shifting, that is Hannah. <laughs> yeah. But it's all good. Has very good graphics, I think. Yes, now Hannah is a Wii owner, so she's not totally, totally into the HD graphics yet, but she will get there. She will get there. I will get this. Very pretty graphics, that is definitely for sure. Prettier. Better than the Wii. But better than the Wii, but you know what? The Wii is pretty awesome in its own way. It's not meant for this sort of a thing. So, yeah, you can see things exploding. Cool stuff. Now, Hannah does not own this game herself, and I am the one who knows the level layout. So, that's the only conflict here. I don't like how there's all that smoke in the background while it's like all over the place. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. And because Hannah has not played this game, she's not quite sure of the story. And so the the point of the smoke, Hannah, is um, Boba Fett. I'm I'm pretty sure you're aware with him. Um, yes. You know Boba Fett, the bounty hunter who's never actually done anything cool, but everyone loves him. Uh, broken into this ship, and we are past the part where he's escaped. And now we've just got to blow up this giant Imperial Star Destroyer and all sorts of other Star Wars-y nerdy stuff that I obviously know better than anyone else because I'm a nerd. And yeah. So now we get to see this thing explode. And we go rummaging... rummaging upwards. Sprint's really weird. This is actually his normal walk. So, yeah, he does sprint weird, and that's because he's got the force with him. Maybe you should just sprint in a straight line, not all separate. Oh, gosh. And, yeah, he probably should sprint in a straight line. It, it's weird that he's doing all these weird dashes. And, again, if you guys aren't digging the video right now, because that's only because I have not played this game in so long that my skills are down. But I got this button combo thing going. Um, and I guess dead after this, I'm going to swap off the controls to Hannah, no? Yeah. I mean, I understand, I, we're really far into the game, so Hannah might not be the most prepared for this, because she's never played this game whatsoever before. So, she's jumping in on it. And... Yes. Yeah, and Hannah's sort of roaming, just checking stuff out here. Yep. So... Yeah, they, they, they look pretty, like... Like delusional when they fly up like that, they look like. Well, they don't. They just don't look like real people. They look like faded, kind of. Don't they like look faded? Like they don't look. Well, when you close up, they look right. <gasps> and Hannah's gonna be taking a break for a minute because there's something extremely video game related that she wants to check out. Yes, I'm checking out the selection of. The main is offline with yeah, the water let's go with in. that. See what you can do. Why look like an engineer, General? You're gonna look like orbital debris if you don't no get No offense to games online. like this. I hate games Just when they like there, talk. Do what you can. Talking games. What a disaster. <laughs> don't you like, you know, I hate when they like 
have a conversation. Now, see, this is where we differ, because I actually like that. I find that enjoyable. I don't, because if you mess up, you hear the thing over and over again. Oh, well, that's irritating. Like, yeah. Well, like some games cut that out well, after no, the now first time. Well, you know, now you when you yeah. hit that. Uh, now, now, see, see, this is... I agree with that, but the You're thing is, Hannah has not beaten Sonic and the Secret Rings. That's because it's hard, okay? Oh, it's hard, all right, but I beat it 100%. Got every one of the Fire Souls, beat the final boss, all this other epic stuff. And yeah, it was hard, but I managed to do it. And let Can me you see. do all the angles for a minute? Like, all the Circular. Can you get his face? Like, zoom into his face? I don't think he wants to be looked at. I don't want to see him. This is as far as we can go. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, look at him. He's, he's, oh, he's fantastic. Yeah. One thing I don't get about Star Wars games is they never actually call them humans. And I'm, I don't know, I, I'm just not getting that. So, just so they can see this, the um, health stats and whatnot. There we go. So I'm gonna, like, that. And now I'm just gonna blow stuff up because we are in a platform where a bunch of bad guys are and we're locked in combat. And I don't Wait, which like way it. should it be? Like, should it be farther back so they can see the whole screen? Uh, no, a little more forward just so they don't see the bottom of the thing. I mean, it's not going to get exactly there, Hannah. Trust me on that. So yeah, as we can see, this is a very pretty game. Now, I'm not sure all you viewers are going to see that because... We're not exactly using, again, capture cards, fancy schmancy, I don't have one, fact of life. But, you, you, you can, oh, oh, yeah. And, yeah, I'm assuming you all could hear that noise with the irritating button mashing, but that is what happens when I spider I kind of like those little lines in it, but, yeah. Where the, where the lightsaber slash? Yeah, and it stays there, too. Yeah, I, I gotta say, the people who created this game have an eye for detail. Yeah. Lucas Arts and whatnot. Solid. So you, but that's 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 a compliment. Look at his scars on his face. Oh, yeah, creepy scars, definitely, Hannah. So, anyways, we have gotten to the cutscene where. Um, yeah, they name. are actual cuts. <laughs> oh, word pun. But no, we are gonna get us their whole thing. And this is General Coda, and he's having a rant, and apparently Starkiller is going to say something fancy that emotionally ties General Coda to doing something. Um, yeah. Ooh, and he has brown hair. I did not know that. thought he had black hair. Whatever. Anyways, Sparks, and... Oh. Do you want to do this part of the This is do the button prompts. Now, we're going to give Hannah a shot at doing the skydiving scene, which is whatever button thing they tell you to do on script. See how they're telling you to do X, so bash it, bash it, bash it. Whenever it goes... And so when Hannah dies, we're going to trade off, and we're going to do this back and forth. Now, she has never played an Xbox before, so this is going to be a test of reflexes. And Hannah, you got to smack that button. Uh, nothing at the moment. But there we go. Exactly. See, Hannah gets the, 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 the gist. you got to bash those buttons. Crew of the Salvation. Oh. <gasps> and you? your character died. Died a tragic death. Oh. Hold B to charger. And that is totally irrelevant to the current situation. So just, Hannah's going to keep on trying this a few times. And we'll see if she caves in or not. The pressure of skydiving. Oh man, look at that Death Star. See, I bet you Star Killer regrets blowing it up before now. What's the point of even pushing these buttons? See, see, because he's, because it's telling, it, by doing that, you're moving away all the stuff that's in your path, and your ship is fragile, so if it hits any of that stuff in your path. Oh, and she's doing it! Living the dream. Yeah, don't. Ah, oh, there we go. Now X. She's getting it. Hannah's getting it. And, yeah. Of the We're going oh my gosh, she is doing amazingly here. I'm actually extremely impressed with her at the moment. Um, let's see, she doesn't have that much more of the levels going. She's doing better than I did on the easy difficulty, and this is medium. So, oh, dang. <laughs> Hannah, you're rocking it. Um, and once the level ends, which is actually, once the skydiving scene's over, we're there. 
Um, we are going to end the video. I don't think I got that. Hey, 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 it's okay. I mean, you you got quite a few. I don't think I can do it. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. You're still alive. And I think Hannah just made it. Hold on. We're about to see. Yeah, Hannah did it. Um, yeah. So let me pass this off just so we can quit out and save. Um, because my video is nearing its time limit. So if it ends abruptly, yeah, that's the thing. So anyways, this has been the gameplay video. Comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. And enjoy our videos. Ask for Hannah if you want more Hannah in the videos for co-commentary. Or more other people. Or Mostly other people. Mostly me, because I'm yeah. fun. Mostly me, or Hannah, because she is fun. And I have good commentary. Definitely. Yeah. So, comment, rate, subscribe. You know the drill by now.